Welcome to worship. We invite you to join us by responding with the words in bold print. O people, hope in the Lord. With the Lord there is steadfast love and great power to redeem. To set the mind on the flesh is death, but to set the mind on the spirit is life and peace. Trusting in the Spirit of God, let us confess our sin. O Lord, if you held our sin against us, who could live, who could stand? We seem to have more faith in death than hope in your promise of life. We seek peace through war and find security in weapons. We abandon the hungry, sick, and dying, and pursue wealth by making others poor. And even so you love us, still there is forgiveness with you. Therefore we worship you, for you alone, O Lord, can save us from death and redeem us from our sin. Amen. If Jesus Christ dwells in you, the Spirit of God will be your life, and the grace of God will be your righteousness. And if the Holy Spirit dwells in you, then God, who raised Jesus from the dead, will also give life to your mortal bodies. Friends, this is the good news of the gospel. In Jesus Christ, we are forgiven. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Let us pray. Lord God, you are resurrection and life. As we worship you this day, show us who we are. Bearers of good news, messengers of resurrection. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us join together in reading responsively the 52nd Psalm. Why do you boast, O mighty one, of mischief done against the godly? All day long you are plotting destruction. Your tongue is like a sharp razor, you worker of treachery. You love evil more than good, and lying more than speaking the truth. You love all words that devour a deceitful tongue. But God will break you down forever. He will snatch and tear you from your tent. He will uproot you from the land of the living. The righteous will see in fear and will laugh at the evildoer, saying, See the one who would not take refuge in God, but trusted in abundant riches and sought refuge in wealth. But I am like a green olive tree in the house of God. I trust in the steadfast love of God forever and ever. I will thank you forever because of what you have done. In the presence of the faithful, I will proclaim your name, for it is good. The Holy Gospel according to the book of Luke, the tenth chapter. Now as they went on their way, he entered a certain village, where a woman named Martha welcomed him into her home. She had a sister named Mary, who sat at the Lord's feet and listened to what he was saying. But Martha was distracted by her many tasks, so she came to him and asked, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to do all the work by myself? Tell her then to help me. But the Lord answered her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and distracted by many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part, which will not be taken away from her. This is the gospel of the Lord. Let us join together in professing our faith with the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. 
He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Out of the depths we cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear our voices and be attentive to our prayers. We pray for those whose hope is lost, who feel dried up and cut off from you. By your grace, open their graves, bring them back to the land of the living. We pray for those who are oppressed, held captive by the power of death. Release them from their chains, unbind them, and let them go. We pray for those who weep, lost and lifeless in fear and regret. For those living in fear and isolation, as we live through this time of uncertainty. For those working on the front line of caring for the sick and suffering. For those providing essential services to keep our needs met. Grant them the peace of your presence. Show them what your love can do. We pray for those who are dying, the light of life fading in their eyes. Help them to believe in you so that they may live and never die. We thank you, O Lord, for having heard our prayers. Enable us to trust in you and thus to see your glory through Jesus Christ, the resurrection and the life. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. Let us pray together the prayer our Lord taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the Lord Jesus Christ, who is the resurrection and the life, bless and keep you in this life and the life to come. Amen. Go now in peace, for nothing can separate you from the love of God in Christ Jesus. Thanks be to God.